there's a lot of content out right now insinuating that T.D. Jakes' wife, Sarita Jakes, is leaving him, is divorcing him. That's the big question going around. Let's talk about it. to the most high Yah shalom thank you for tuning in to another righteous spiritful episode today i'm back at it in them trenches handling that kingdom business man i'm gonna take a different spin than your average content creator would take and just educate you on man you have to be mindful of looking for a juicy story and oftentimes content creators know that certain things get a lot of views and they don't care about what comes out of their mouth as long as they can get the most views and keep the story going. But I'll tell you this, man, you know, you might wanna be mindful uh, of bearing false witness in these last days. You might wanna be mindful of it. Now, more so than ever, because the adversary is very crafty and manipulative using social media, using snippets of a clip and then letting that run off on a narrative. But you don't see anything, an official statement uh, from Sarita Jakes, you know, you don't see anything from an official statement from TD Jakes saying they're getting a divorce. And a lot of content which people have made, got a lot of views off of, a lot of this stuff hasn't even been adjudicated in front of court yet. And one thing about this wicked flesh is we persecute people without having uh, concrete evidence. And just because we feel like somebody's guilty of something or some uh, somebody's going through something, we add all this extra sauce on. You know, stating, yeah, I know why she's leaving him and that dusty joke, he probably was down low the whole time. And all that is, is you taking your personal uh, convictions, feelings, and opinions and adding it on to the juicy story. And think about how easily you can bear false, think about how easily you can bear false witness uh, in the midst of this. And I'll tell you, how many times have we seen people on social media, uh, people that you know, publicly say that, hey, me and my husband are separated, we're getting a divorce, me and my wife are separated, and then everybody starts uh, in the comments, launching what they think. I knew that joker wasn't no good. I went to high school with him, X, Y, and Z. And then what happens? These people don't even separate. These people don't even separate. But guess what? Now they know how you really feel. They really know how you feel. And they're sitting back, and now you don't have nothing to say because you didn't went out and offered your, your feelings and opinions and stuff like that where it wasn't even warranted. And especially in this case, Who's to know? Uh, who's to know what the outcome of all of this stuff going on will be? Who's to know? And like I said, T.D. Jakes and his wife. Even though I'm not a supporter of his teachings, I'm not a supporter of replacement theology. You know that still doesn't give me the the justification to run on, or you know, but that still doesn't give me the justification to run on and make up and try to keep uh, false testimonies going because ultimately that's what happens. You have somebody that will watch uh, a video from a content creator and they will give a false testimony with no, no concrete evidence, no facts, no none of that. And other people will see it and run with it. That's how easy this thing is. And if you're a person that loves to know what's going on with other people, you know, and you're one of these sick people. This is the worst case scenario. You have some sick people out here that they're counting on relationships to fail. That's what they're counting on. When they see the headline, they're counting on the relationships to fail, the marriages to fail, a marriage for over 30 years. And the most of y'all says, you know, a man that finds a wife obtains favor. It's like, they don't want you to have that favor. And people will add all this 
extra stuff into the situation. Oh yeah, you know, he was doing this and I kind of knew something was off and it was this and it was that. Without having any facts, anything concrete to stand on and giving a false testimony. Everybody reporting on stuff is not a credible witness. And how can you be a witness to something that hasn't happened? How can you be a, a, a witness or give testimony to something uh, on behalf of two people when they themselves have said nothing? Be mindful of that. This thing is gonna get very, very crafty uh, and very deceitful in the last days, but them commandments still stand. The commandments are the lamp and the laws of the Most High, y'all, are the light. Closer to y'all ministries, kicking that thing, gun barrel straight.